Good morning everybody, Silas here today. We're off on another adventure. I am going to check out some cars today. I'm not sure what details I can and can't share with you. I did have to sign a, a non-disclosure agreement. They cannot say where these cars are. So rather than just drag it out, I guess I will just see you guys when I get there. I'll figure out what I can say about the cars and then we'll go from there. This is an old 78 Ford truck that my brother actually was taking. That's my 49 Ford F3. I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, I understand. Cool old F3. No, this is mostly all 78, 79 Ford pickup parts. Yeah, so. Oh, wow. Yeah, a bunch of old. Those are old flatheads there. Yeah. Well, and we don't know if they're any good because, you know, back in that time frame, they didn't have antifreeze. They used water. So you, a lot of times you find them cracked. Out. Yeah, that's pretty There's common. There's also some 33, 34 pent fenders back in there, it looks like. Oh, sure enough. Yeah. Anything cool hanging from the top? Nope. I don't no. see anything. You never know. It's my always dad, good to look up when you go in a barn. didn't <laughs> hang much stuff. Uh oh. So. Yeah, if you hang it, then you got to get it back down. Yeah. There's some wheels here, it looks like. So what was this building originally? It was a granary. A so granary? Uh, yeah, so. That's cool. Yeah, they. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, right above me. Yep, stored grain in it. Um, huh, be, be neat. If I had a time machine, what I would do is go back in time and look at buildings like this in their heyday. <laughs> oh, I know. I, I mean, That'd be so cool. Honestly, I, I've seen this board and barn, you know, I'm 40 now, so it's like. <laughs> I was born when my parents lived out here. Oh, yeah. So. That was an old grill shell. There's some cool pieces in there. Yeah, it looks some like you have door skins. Like There's a shroud there. big old raccoon. <laughs> Is there really? Yeah, he just crawled right in front of me. Oh, nice. Went down in there. <laughs> nice. So. At least it's a raccoon, not a skunk. Yeah. Well, this is yeah, this is nothing compared to my place back in Kansas. I got sandbirds growing yeah. acres of them. <laughs> we'll, we'll find those when we get up to Pierce. So. So. so yeah, I mean, my dad, you know, picked up stuff on the side of the road for years, and he, you know, he'd just go and ask somebody if he digs it out, can he have it? You know, when he was really young, frames. It looks like I don't know if these were. Uh, so that's they call the horse gun. Looks like the uh, front half, now that I look at it, this is like the front half the model T, yeah. of one of those. The back half's probably here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I had a chance to buy a complete one of these. Still on the frame, motor, everything at an auction once years ago when I was a kid, but I didn't know model better. T. Yeah, it was just like this, and uh, I think it went for like 50 bucks. Touring, yeah. Missed out on it, didn't know better back well, then. You'll get to see another Model T in Lincoln. That's, that's actually run, run, was running and driving 15 years ago. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're complicated to drive. I know a guy that has a fully restored 1914. He actually even redid all the wood by hand. Yeah, that's the same with us. My dad, he had a 1918 model. Not many trees when they were first put out here. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what this was. I think it has rollers or wheels or something on it. Oh yeah, co-op on the side. I don't know what that was at one point. I just got those wheel rollers in there. Yeah. I don't know. I'll check that out. The tree is eating the wheel. <laughs> Been here a long old time, that's for sure. Mustang convertible. What's left of one anyway? Lots of interesting contraptions. Yeah, so it looks like you have a front end for the truck. Big springs. Yeah. Looks like it's shifted to the side a little bit. 
Or you might have bumped something. Probably. <laughs> yeah, that frame's a little twisted, it looks like. The way it's cut off like that, either he made a trailer out of the back half of it, or he sectioned a new one in. Who knows? Oh. <laughs> Stuff hides everywhere. I've been in some buildings before that were creaking and groaning the whole time I was in them. Sometimes it gets... Cool old bicycles. Silas, I know about these. I'll check them out. I've dealt in a few bikes. Got some old fertilizer sweaters over here. Small panels. Roadmaster that's been repainted. I'm not sure what this one is. This barn used to be chock full of 33, 34 board bikes when my dad got them all out. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, those are a little bit newer there. And that one's a cold Schwinn. You know, hubcaps, deck lid off of something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's also short. <laughs> like, That's a cool piece right here. Huh. Is this a visor or a valence piece? What's that? I think this is a valence here. I thought it was a visor at first, but. Uh, that's a 67. Six, actually, that might be 69. Um, I like this piece here. This is a cool piece. Yeah. Well, so that, I think trunk. that was a toy car that was made to look like a model. Oh, model I was going to say it's a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. So, yeah. Because I've had some of those. Yeah. Fenders, windshields. Yeah, those fenders are probably... Huh. Interesting stuff. I wish yeah. the rest of that was here. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> no, there's quite a few down here. That's why I said... We, we oh, come on down here. Thunderbird. That's my favorite cars. Late 60 Thunderbirds. Yep, there's Thunderbirds. There's a 390 station wagon, 390 GT station wagon. Down. Oh, wow. There's some uh, fair lane. Got to navigate the uh, thorn trees. Yeah. There's some fair lane, but I think some galaxy down here as well. I think the station wagon is a galaxy station wagon. There's a cougar body down here, a 69 cougar body that my dad flattened the roof on with the tractor. Wow. Yeah, these these cars are worth something, you know, and like they. My dad was a three ninety uh, four twenty eight guy. Yeah. So he would pull the engines out of them and then keep the bodies because he didn't care. You know. That might have been the coup. This is a seventy or seventy one here. I thought it was a sixty nine at first, but. I wonder if any of these have bucket seats in them. I like that wagon over there. That's where I'm headed. I like the one behind it too. Galaxy Station wagon, 390 GT. Thorns in it. Yeah, watch out for the locust trees. Galaxy 500. Another cougar. I like this galaxy right here. That's probably my favorite car I've seen so far on this property. Nothing special, but it just looks good with all that chrome. Been sitting down here a very long time. What's this, a Mustang? Around a 70, 71, somewhere around there? I don't know. I'm not a Mustang expert. I wanted to see this wagon though. Yeah, these cars are not worth scratching. They're worth, they're worth LTD wagon. 390. <laughs> that one up there is neat too. That LTD, you just don't see that body style that often anymore. I think that's the first year of LTD actually. Is that a 67? Yeah, that is a 67. So I'm pretty sure that's the first year of LTD. Wow. Hiding down here in the goalie. 
At least they didn't get dumped in the creek that's down there. Look at that trim on here. That was cracked me up when they put this on here. It's a fiberglass type trim instead of chrome. That was a big Ford thing there for a few years. Didn't catch on, thankfully, because it's kind of ugly, honestly. If this was my car, I'd take all the trim off, fill in the holes, and just run it without trim. I don't think they have bears in Nebraska. <laughs> It's a good way to do it. Just a post that my dad probably put in there. To... It's like some sort of cave system. Oh, it's just where water is washing out. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if the snow was really thick out here? You're just walking along and all of a sudden they just disappear to an eight foot hole. <laughs> Up the hill. What do we got down here? Oh, little Turing. Is it just a Turing body? Yeah, they've just welded it to the frame. So they took a Turing body and put it on truck. And there's the cougar down in the ravine. Which that's where the value is. There's, you know, someone looking for something to fix up and moving down. Oh, no. It's been so radiated. Yeah. So. Dodge some more tree limbs. At least these don't have thorns. Yeah, those are actual engines, it looks like. Yeah, probably turn them into stationary engines or something. Yeah, they're either Model A or Model T. So. He was definitely a Ford Mercury guy. Oh yeah, it, it, you won't find <laughs> the only thing you'll find other than Ford is I have a '53 Chevy truck. It was my great grandpa's truck. Oh yeah, I, it was my graduation present from high school. Oh yeah, so yeah, you, you got to keep that one. Yeah, so it's got 54,000 original miles on it. So, oh, this is pretty cool. The hardest one to get to. It's got an old seat frame in it. The seat back. These are really cool. I bet you that deck lid that was in the big barn over there would fit this car. Oh, that's got the metal back bucket seats. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I sold a set of those with a panel truck the other day. That's a neat car. Looks like a lot of it's gone, but still something's there at least. And down we go once again. One of these items is not quite like the others. <laughs> a random craftsman lawnmower mixing with all this old stuff. Looks like someone was probably racing that because it's got yeah, it looks like it's roll over <laughs> roll bars, kind of beat up, yellow paint. May have, been do, may have even been doing demo derbies with it the way. It needs to sit back at an old frame with a motor on it. Just yeah, stencil the number on the door. This is a Model A or Model T frame, Model A frame with engine and steering wheel. Looks like someone's been in the trunk. That trunk lid was not like that beforehand. I don't know if this stuff fell on it or... Bigfoot. XR7. You don't see this that often anymore. Huh. Yep, XR7. Big block car. It probably got parked right where it's sitting. Probably was in a wreck and came out here and got parked. There we go. So this is a 68. 302 J code car convertible. Yeah, it's all here, just in basket case. Yeah, I mean. Oh, there's a bit second here. There's a lot, yeah. So. Yeah, there's the bucket seats. So there's a flathead V8 right there, too. So. 
There's a Honda three-wheeler over there. Those have gotten really popular in the last few years. Little 90. That's the uh, mid-range flathead or the early one. That's the early one there. Yep. I'll put my phone, get a flashlight out. Should have oh, brought like my actual the flashlight. Might be on the refrigerator Yeah. To look at the stuff on the other side, we'll have to go around. Yeah. <laughs> right. What is that? Oh, it's a Massey Ferguson. Hard telling what's hiding down in here. What does it say? Serval or Cervell. I don't know how you pronounce it. But that's a pretty neat piece. What's that? The refrigerator. Is it pronounced Cervell or Serval? Yes. Yes. <laughs> However you want to pronounce it, right? Depends on what part of the country you're in. Oh, yeah, just farm equipment. See, I like these things right here. I do a lot of like industrial art and automotive art and stuff. And so to me, those things look like there'd be a purpose for them. Yeah. Another old Mercury, probably a Montclair, I'm guessing. Maybe a Marauder, but probably a Montclair. The Monterey, I was wrong. Roll down back window? Uh, I bet. Yeah. yeah, it's got the roll down back window. Yeah. That was a neat gimmick. Some of your uh, Toyota Tundras have that too. <laughs> Smoke with your kids in the car. Yeah. And we got three Mustangs, Rustangs, whatever you want to call them. They've seen better days, definite parts cars, but that one's got bucket seat frames in it still. It's got a five lug rear end. That might be something good. You just never know in these cars. And if they have VIN numbers and they're V8 cars, that's something all in itself. It's packed. Oh, check out this huge mailbox. Okay, so 33, <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah, man, it looks like. There's some engines in here. I know. Oh, there you go. There's a cool grill right there. Yeah, that's a uh, 33. Sure. I'm going to put it out. So. That shouldn't be in here. Oh, there's the body off of something back there. Yeah, I'm actually surprised Dad left that. There's also a 33, 34 rear fenders. Oh, well, I like that grill. That is perfect. Looks like somebody did something to the very bottom of the corner on that one it's side, but it's still really nice. It's not a 33, though. Try to... and we got we got a beautiful hood here, too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Again, if you had seen this back in the payday, it's, it's a lot more here. It's eye. Oh, look at this wheel. That's probably... That's probably... Oh. <laughs> that's neat. I think that's the other one right here. So there's a pair of those. Oh, no, no, they're different. They're different. Oh, they're 14s. Yep. That's still a really neat piece. That's probably like 65 Mustang. That's uh, really cool. That's a neat piece. Even just to hang on the wall, polish it up. Yeah. So, just like a flathead or a flathead. Oh, trust me. I, for years, I've been wanting to get out here and get this stuff cleaned up, but it's like the poking job. Around, just poking around is fun. Yeah. There's big rotors. Oh, look at that. Chest. Oh, yeah. Huh. That's an old uh, freezer box. Yeah. What's that? Something over there? Oh, up in the corner? Yeah. Trying to hide from us. When you run out, don't check where they're close. <laughs> These are a 390 or a 428. That's what I was thinking. They're right out of those Fords. They're, uh, hey there, Mr. or Mrs. Raccoon. They're 70s. <laughs> you can look at the transmission and tell it's a 70s. Yeah. Probably like a 72, 73, 74, somewhere there. I bet they this I bet these pieces all go together. Because there's so, not like a ton of different ones. These cranks I would bet would, would be flathead cranks. This is a this car is a different color though. The fenders in this car are a different color than the hood and the grill. Oh, okay. Oh this is early. This is later. This is earlier. So this is the 
back half of probably a sedan over here. So I'm this thinking is, so. This is 33 or 34. This is where Todd is. So. Oh, yes. Yeah. Would that be the fenders for it? Could There's a strong chance of it, yes. Just ID in these parts, it's going to be fun. The people who know this stuff are just, I mean, I, I know more than most people my age, and, it's, and you, you don't see. I, I tell people all the time the most valuable part of this collection is you because you know what this stuff is. So many times people pass, and then the collections just go away because people have no clue what it is. Well, I wound up getting me a souvenir to take home. I try to get a souvenir everywhere I go, so there we go. <laughs> and with that, we are done at that location. I am absolutely frozen. <laughs> that wind is starting to pick up up here. Whew, man, it is cold out here. I wasn't this cold back home, so I didn't dress quite appropriately, but we're back in the truck now. There's some pretty neat stuff here. There wasn't anything that would be worth me coming back for. Uh, that, that wagon was really neat, that other Galaxy. If I wasn't doing anything else, of course, there's no way of getting to him, but if he got him dug out, then I might come back but I just I got so much going on I, I don't have any business buying more stuff this far from home I am glad he sold me that grill he wasn't gonna sell it to me at first because we thought it was for a Ford but uh, we got looking it up and it's actually for a Chevy and as you saw he has mostly Ford stuff and so he wants to keep it all together for now but being a Chevy he was like well, that's not gonna fit anything out here so he went ahead and sold it to me there was definitely some interesting stuff there there was that one trunk piece he said it was for a toy car uh, I think I caught where he said it was for a toy car, but anyway, I really wanted that piece too if the rest of the car was there, but by itself, I don't know that it was really much to me. I would have tried to buy that in a heartbeat. I, uh, I went ahead and threw the, uh, the grill and the hood in Andy's truck because I don't have a tailgate on the truck. I do have a come along though, so I will find a way of securing those. I may actually just clean my back seat, take the car seats out and put them in the front seat since I don't have my kids and then I can just stack it all back there. It's going to be dirty, get my truck filthy, but that's what I bought this truck for was to get dirty and filthy. Well, I bought it to work, but a byproduct of working in this type of environment is that stuff gets dirty. But definitely lots of cool stuff there. I'm not sure what the plan is. I know they're wanting to sell the stuff. They're wanting to have uh, some auctions. That's why Andy's here. But I don't think the stuff there is quite high end enough for the online auctions. So they might be selling that stuff on Marketplace. I'm not sure what the plan exactly is. If I find out more details before I release this video, I will put something in here. Otherwise, if it's after I've released this video, I'll put something maybe on my social media about when the stuff is available for sale. That's kind of the reason why I came on this trip, was to help advertise this stuff. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I can't mention where the stuff is at yet because they're not ready to sell it and they don't want people finding out where it's at and coming and taking it all. Which is completely understandable. Every now and then I'll, ha I'll have other YouTubers come out to my place and I tell them, look, you can film this stuff, but don't film this, don't film this, don't film this, so on and so forth. And so I'm completely cool with that. I am very thankful that they allowed me to come out here and film this stuff. It's not, not everybody will let you do that. I've asked a lot of people if I could video. They've got cool collections of old cars, hundreds of cars sometimes, and stuff in buildings. And they just always tell me no, absolutely no cameras, no pictures, no nothing. So I am very thankful to the owners for letting me do this. I'm thankful for Andy for setting the deal up. We have two more locations that we're going to be going to. I'm not sure what order I'm going to release these videos in. This might be the first, it might be second. I don't know exactly, but stay tuned. Make sure if I've already released the other ones, I'll put the link in the description below for those. If not, stay tuned because they will be coming out. With that, I'll let you all go. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Hopefully it's a little bit warmer wherever you are. And remember to get out there and find an adventure and sometimes might have to drive a long ways to find that adventure. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one.